again. Today we're going to be talking about a feature that appeared in Howler 2022, and that is analytical uh, supersize resampling. And um, there are a lot of approaches to uh, image super resolution that are being thrown around these days, uh, some more uh, complicated than others, some that are trying to accomplish uh, more uh, complicated tasks than others. Um, but th uh, there are a lot of different ways to approach a task using neural networks uh, and other approaches. But uh, with Haller, we've always been an offline tool. Uh, we're not trying to be a uh, tool that goes to a, uh, a net service somewhere uh, and processes something out on the cloud. We've always been a, uh, uh, a program that runs on your local machine and uses your machine's local uh, processor to uh, accomplish the task. So um, if you're online, fine, use one of the available tools. If you're offline, well, then Hala has at least something basic built into it. Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, super sampling and a super, super resolution in Haller. And um, basically the problems we're trying to solve uh, are fall into two categories. One, uh, enlarging while maintaining smooth and sharp edges. That is smooth as in uh, not uh, adding stair stepping that you get with uh, bilinear interpolation. And by sharp, we mean maintaining the original sharpness of the image, not uh, adding smoothness to the uh, to the image. So I'll give an example here. Um, I'll go to the original image that has been enlarged using bilinear interpolation. You can see it looks natural. It's fine. It, it would do in a pinch, but it is blurry and it is. Uh, uh, you can see things are starting to look a little bit blocky, a little bit stair step. Stair step. You can see the ringing uh, from. Uh, there was a probably a, a sharpen filter applied to this at one point. There's a little bit of ringing around this where it shows that there's a uh, bright air edges around dark edges, that kind of thing. Um, and you can see that it's starting to turn somewhat blurry around the edges of fine details. You can see around the eye, it's slightly blurry there. And coming down here, you can see the muzzle is blurry. You can see that ringing in there being uh, accentuated because of being enlarged. And those are some of the problems we're trying to minimize. We're trying to keep the original uh, sharpness of the, the original source image while enlarging at the same time. So it's sort of a complicated task, but there are ways you can do it. Um, let's go to Haller's interpolation, a super resolution interpolation look here. And as you can see, we now have super sharp edges around the muzzle. Uh, you can see that these hairs have kept their fidelity. They're, they look like hairs. They haven't been, been enlarged. They look like very fine little wires. Uh, you can see around the eye, the eye is super sharp looking now. And as we go over here, you can see this ear. All the details are sharp. You can see these sticks here. You can see while the edges are super smooth still, you can see they are also, are also uh, keeping the original sharpness of the source image, which was, uh, I think, a quarter of this resolution, or maybe it's half, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but uh, we can go through the steps and see what happens. So as I said, there are um, basically two problems we're trying to solve, keeping uh, sharp edges that don't stair step and then adding new details. Um, and we can discuss uh, briefly how that's done, but I'm gonna come back in another video and do that. So I will talk to you later.